Hello, and welcome to the Demoet series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoet, we demonstrate the use of packaged queries. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining packaged queries and outlining their importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of packaged queries. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoet. Let's begin by discussing what packaged queries are and why they are important for our customers. A packaged query is a database-specific query that is defined in TDV. It is associated with a specific data source. At execution time, TDV pushes the query unchanged down to the physical data source. Therefore, packaged queries may leverage non-standard syntax or features available in the underlying physical data source. In TDV, packaged queries are a type of stored procedure. Packaged queries are important to our customers for two reasons. First, they enable TDV to take advantage of non-standard features that may be provided by some physical data sources. Second, they make it very easy for TDV to leverage pre-built legacy queries against a single data source. Sometimes these queries may be extremely complex. They may have been developed and modified over many years, and they may use non-standard database features or custom-built stored procedures and functions. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo that shows the use of packaged queries. Here is the business problem we illustrate in this demo. Our data analysts need a unified view of data that physically resides in two different relational database systems. Order data may be queried in a standard manner by TDV. However, employee data is held in a database that supports a non-standard feature. A legacy query against this data uses this non-standard feature. We'll use a packaged query so that TDV can reuse this legacy query. This will save on TDV's development time and enhance reuse of the customer's legacy development investment. This demo uses data from the examples folder that is delivered with TDV, so no installation of data is required. However, if you want to run the demo exactly as we show it here, you will need Squirrel, a generic SQL query tool. In addition, a car file is available in the additional resources folder that accompanies this demoette. You can build these resources from scratch or import the car file if you want to use the pre-built artifacts. Instructions for these steps can be found in the additional resources folder that accompanies this demoette. This demo uses example data that is delivered with TDV. The data resides on the PostgreSQL database that TDV uses. In order to use Squirrel, we'll have to set it up to access this data. We quickly walk through the process here, but you can find instructions in the additional resources folder that accompanies this demo. The first step in Squirrel is to define a driver for PostgreSQL 9.1. We enter the example URL, then go to the Extra Class Path tab and enter the location where we have placed the Postgres JDBC driver. We click List Drivers and select org.postgresql.driver from the drop-down list. Now that we have defined the driver, we can define an alias in order to make an actual connection. We enter the specific URL Note that TDV uses port 9428 and the database name is Inventory. We enter username Tutorial and the password, which is also Tutorial. Now we can use Squirrel to access the Employees table on the Tutorial database and view its contents. We are ready to begin our demo. We use Squirrel, a generic SQL query tool, to execute our legacy query, select star from employees limit 20. Limit is not standard SQL and is not recognized by TDV. However, it is supported by PostgreSQL, which is our underlying physical data source. 
when we execute this statement, only twenty rows are returned. Now let's try to recreate this query in TDV. We create a view named View Employees and drag in the Employees table from the Examples folder. When we execute the view, it returns all rows from the table. However, when we add the Limit Clause, TDV tells us that our SQL is invalid. If we want to leverage this legacy query in TDV, we'll have to use a packaged query. We right-click in the Studio namespace and select New Packaged Query. We name the query and associate it with the data source that holds our employees table. Now we can enter our query by typing it, cutting and pasting, or importing a file. However, our packaged query isn't ready to run yet. TDV tells us that we haven't defined our output parameter. Every packaged query must have exactly one output cursor parameter. Optionally, you may have a variable number of scalar outputs also, but the single cursor output is always required. We move to the Parameters tab. Fortunately, TDV, Design by Example feature, makes it easy to define our output cursor. We simply click the Design by Example button, and TDV builds the complete cursor for us. Now we can execute the packaged query, and it runs as expected. Once our packaged query is in place, we can join the data with other TDV resources. Here we create a new view that joins the packaged query with a purchase orders table. We create a projection on the grid panel and execute the new view to see our federated results. We have successfully used a packaged query to leverage product-specific functionality on a legacy query. Now let's use TDV to make the legacy query even more flexible and useful. We'll do this by adding an input parameter. We begin by making a copy of our packaged query and naming it pQuery Employees with Param. On the SQL tab, we add the text version 2, enclosed in angle brackets. This enables TDV to handle certain input parameter situations, such as null values and escape characters, more gracefully. We replace the original limit value of 20 with the zero wrapped in curly braces. The zero indicates that this is the first input parameter. We can have as many input parameters as we need, but they must be numbered sequentially, beginning with zero. Now we go to the Parameters tab and click the Add Parameter icon. We choose a varchar string as the data type for the input parameter. The new parameter is initially added as part of the output cursor. We click the Outdent icon and the new parameter is moved out of the cursor and changed to an input parameter. We rename the parameter NumRows. We can also use the Cycle I.O. button to change the direction of a parameter. Now when we run the packaged query, we are prompted for an input parameter. The query returns the number of rows specified by the input parameter. We are still leveraging our legacy query, but we have made it even more useful. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. A packaged query is a database-specific query that is defined in TDV. It is associated with a specific data source. At execution time, TDV pushes the query unchanged down to the physical data source. Therefore, packaged queries may leverage non-standard syntax or features available in the underlying physical data source. In TDV, packaged queries are a type of stored procedure. Packaged queries are important to our customers for two reasons. First, they enable TDV to take advantage of non-standard features that may be provided by some physical data sources. Second, they make it very easy for TDV to leverage pre-built legacy queries against a single data source. 
Sometimes these queries may be extremely complex. They may have been developed and modified over many years, and they may use non-standard database features or custom-built stored procedures and functions. Thank you.